did you ever wondered how to add a subdomain directly into GoDaddy? So this process is not that hard. I'm going to be showing you how to do this process in a very easy, easy way. So first of all, what I need to do is to access my GoDaddy account. We are inside GoDaddy. Now, first, I'm going to focus into my dashboard and focus into the left part that says domains. Into domains, I want to make sure that I have an actual domain already been imported and, of course, purchased. If you don't have a domain, what I need to do, of course, is to make sure that I have purchased, I have purchased uh, this actual domain in order to add a subdomain. So I'm going to hit now into this option that says domains, just in case you don't have a domain purchased. So go for domains, or here into the upper side, you can go for domain section. Here into domains, you can look out for a domain that you would like to purchase. So once again, this is totally optional. You can try it out this later on. So let's try it out here for find a domain. You can check out that we have lots of domains that we can purchase. So try to look out for one that has the best price for you. And once you have looked out for one for a product you would like to purchase, then what we can do now is to head, out, of course, into purchased and go into our account, go into my products, and into my products, I want to locate the domain dashboard so here i have my products let's go here into my domains and here it is now to have access into selecting my domain from the list of your domains click into the one where you want to add a subdomain this will take you to the domain uh setting page or hit into managed as you can see we are inside this domain section let's click here into our domain we have the domain settings so in the domain settings, we can scroll down to find the DNS section or hit now here, it says DNS. So click into it and we have the DNS records of your domain. The DNS records is how our domain behaves, like showing my website content, delivering some specific uh, email and much more. So we're going to be adding the subdomain. So for adding the subdomain, I'm going to click into the option that says add new record. So here, it's going to be asking us to enter the type, the name, and the value. Now, enter your desired subdomain name uh, after you clicked here into A. So, and put here the name that you wanted to add. For example, let's say soon. And here, input the IP address of your server in the value field and save the changes. Now, if you don't know which is the value you want to add, of course, what you need to do is to, let's say, for example, open a new browser, type your domain, like, for example, blog.mywebsite.com. So I'm going to change this for a block. The value of it is my IP. Check out how automatically we have this element that says a records uses an IP address to connect your domain to a website. If I click here and to create subdomains, we have now the domain article that can be helping us to add a subdomain. So as you can see, we have now added all of this information. And this is the part where we can add the specific period. For example, select add new record, select A from the type menu, enter details from your new record subdomain. So the host name without the domain name such as blog or shop, the name must follow these guidelines. So we have periods. We have allowed but not the first last characters. Consecutive periods cannot begin or end with a hyphen. And 63 characters in a row separated by a period. So this is the actual example that we can use for our subdomain. Now, the IP address is the record well point to. This is commonly the IP address for a hosting account. So we can select add another value to add more IP address to this A record. Select more records, select saved, and hit now into continue. Now to allocate and look out for your IP address, it's gonna be really important to have an actual server, which in this case should be a hosting. In this case, I'm gonna be using GoDaddy. So if you have here your website has been generated, you have the option that says connect your domain. Basically, you need to add your own hosting inside the GoDaddy in order to use a subdomain. So when you have an actual new hosting, it's gonna be, of course, giving you an IP address. For example, I can give the value 
and the value of my let's say my IP should be something like this 192.168.11 so this is an example of how it should be looking of course when you hit now into add this should be added in no time and hit into the safe of course this is totally optional you can check out that the DNS record is working or it might not be working when you copy this subdomain and paste it for example block.stevenwater.online it should be working uh, in no time but basically the actual new section which in this case I'm going to scroll a little bit down and look out for the a record which is this one uh, the blocked element this should be showing me uh, the actual new shop domain and if cost in order to value bring value to the shop domain I needed to add my own hosting supplier into my domain so that guys is how we can actually add a domain directly into GoDaddy so don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions you can leave it down in the comments below guys thank you so much for watching the video and well that will be actually it thank you and see you next time